Good day to all my viewers. As I promised, in this video, I'm going to present on how to do a complex pseudocode and flowchart. I have prepared the examples for the C program on ATM machine which I have uploaded before this. So let me explain the program where it can perform four sets of transactions such as uh, balance checking, cash withdrawal, cash deposition, and mobile top up with several stats. And here we are moving into the first part which is the pseudo code. The pseudo code should be in the sentences. And the first one is start the program, the compulsory line. The next one is enter the pin number. Then display of current date and time. The next one is check balance. So now it's entering into the transaction. Then display the current balance. Okay, the next transaction will be withdraw cash. Enter the amount. To withdraw then display of current balance the next one will be Cash withdrawal, oh sorry, cash deposit. Enter the amount to deposit. Then display of the current balance after cash deposit. The fourth transaction will be mobile top up. So enter the amount to top up. Okay, then the display of current balance. And the last compulsory line, which is the stop the program. And this is how the zero code will look like for the ATM machine program. Let's move on into the flowchart part. So for the flowchart part, I already prepared the flowchart because it is much easier for me to explain. So the first one is the start, the compulsory line. So um, make an arrow from start to enter the pin. Then another arrow to correct. Okay, next. From correct to current date and time so there will be another arrow going to the second time third time and fourth time if there is any wrong pin enter it will initialize back the program and go to the command enter the pin
ちょうどすえっ、ー、と Okay, for the next part from current date and time to the transaction option so as I mentioned before this we are having four set of transactions and the first one is check balance cash withdrawal cash deposition and mobile top up so let me do the arrow first So let me do for the first one. Okay. So this is the transaction. So now let's move on to the First transaction which is check balance so if we check our balance it will show our current balance okay let me use the same color for the arrow okay. So this is for yes. Okay. Then it will show our current balance and we want to do another transaction. If no, it will be automatically will go to the end. So let me use the big arrow here. So if it is no, it will automatically go to the end. So this one is no. But in another case, let's say we put a yes here. We want to perform another transaction. So automatically, the program will be initialized to the first part, which is the Choose option, okay, which is but. So here is a no, and this side is a yes. So for the next one, which is the cash withdrawal, so the same one. You are wish to withdraw your cash, so just enter the amount. Okay, here is the yes. So enter your amount, then see whether your balance is sufficient or not. If, if, uh, if your balance is sufficient, so there will be a display of your current new balance. So just let me put a yes and a no here so it will be easier for me to copy paste. So 
there will be a yes over here okay another yes over here so then it will ask you whether you want to do another trans uh, i mean a transaction or not if okay um So if no, the program will be end. So this part is no. If no, it will automatically end the uh, program. But in another case, if it is yes, the program will be initialized and go to the first part which is the choose so i will just use the this side So it will be going up to the choose part. The next one is the deposit cash. So the same one, enter your deposit amount, okay, then your new balance, and if you want to. Uh, do another transaction there will be two answers which is either yes or no so if no the program will initialize to end so maybe I can use this arrow So this part is yes. Okay, yes. Okay, a uh, yes over here. This part will be no, as I mentioned before. So it will be go to the end part. But if it is yes, the program will be initialized to the first part. Maybe I can draw the line. Maybe from here. straight line okay and uh, just make an uh, arrow to the choose So this is how the yes part will look like.
I just copy the yes. Paste it here. The yes part is much important, so it can be identified the possible outcome. So the next one is the same one, mobile top up, and uh, just do your arrow. So the transactions will be yes over here. Okay, another yes over here. Yes. So, for yes, if you want to do another transaction, so it will be initialized to the first part, which is the choose. Yeah, I will put the yes over maybe over here. If you don't want to do any other transaction, you may leave the program where it will be initialized back to the ending part. I just put the arrow here. So just copy the no stitch. So now this is how the just delete the thing. So, okay. For this part, yeah, I forgot to do something. You need to, okay. If the pin number is correct, it will enter into the program. But, if the pin number is wrong, you may enter your pin number again and again for the second, third and fourth time. So, if it is no, it will automatically go to the uh, command where you need to enter your uh, pin number uh, once again. So that's how we will do a complex pseudo code and flowchart. I have uploaded the book pseudocode and flowchart to the description box. You may have a look to it if you have any problem. Thank you very much and see you all soon with another content.